<laughs> Privet, Privet. Privet Steve. Today we are talking about education system in Taiwan and Ukraine. Yes. So we will choose few topic and we discuss. Okay. First of all, we have a uh, six three three, six year, three year, three year, twelve year, and it's a. Uh, like government provide you education and what is your system? It's the same, it's a elementary school, first four years, then four years of a middle school or pre-secondary school from fifth grade to ninth grade and three more years, this is the high school. So in total for now 11 years and from 2022 we'll change system to 12 grade. All these uh, grades uh, in one building. So there's this everything from six years old kids till 17, 18. It's all in one school, everyone yeah, one together. Building. Usually they divide it uh, for the floors. Depends how many floors school have and how many people. Okay, then second is... I realized something big difference, which is we have a lunch break. Doesn't matter it's from elementary school, junior high school or high school. Even you go to college or you go to uh, work, everyone in Taiwan have a lunch break. And also we have nap time to sleep after lunch. Woohoo! <laughs> no, we don't have nap they time. Don't have this. Usually we have a 10 minutes break, two long breaks by 15 minutes. So for this long <laughs> break time during 15 minutes, you can go and buy something by yourself in high school and elementary school they need to finish their lunch at this time lunch time from 10 to 12 during this period i don't know exactly what time so they lunch? have they have yeah they have a 15 minutes break so they go to the food court and have uh, some soup what second about the, dish. the meal you eat after free that's lunch no Wherever you go, I don't know. So they eat four times. Let's say a 10 year old kid. They eat before they go to school, mm -hmm. right? Then after they eat something. Around 10 they have soup and uh, second dish and something sweet. It's then like after they or... eat, after they come home around 3 p.m. If they're hungry, if not, they don't eat. It's not a big Until deal, right? Until 8 or 9? Around 7 in the morning, breakfast, mm -hmm. around 12 in the noon, lunch, 6 or 7, dinner. Mm -hmm. And we have a uh, snap in the middle. You Only eat. in um, in kindergarten, that's it, in school nobody sleeps. You are an adult, you are 6 years old. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to, to have a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Always doesn't work this way. <laughs> okay, next topic. Like the first two years in elementary school, you have one full day, which is from the morning till 4 p.m., something like this. Maybe you go to the third grade, fourth grade. Two days, full day. Then after, it could be three, four days, full day. That's why you have a nap time. Yeah. And yours finish. Half Elementary day. school uh, have around five lessons, each lesson 35 minutes, except fourth grade they have 40 minutes lesson. So yeah, they, they finish around 12, before one o'clock for sure. Elementary school? Yeah. Every day? Yeah. Half day? Mm -hmm. Then uh, junior high school, high school? Uh, finish around 3 p.m. Yeah, so this is big difference. Until high school, their students, everyone finish before three o'clock. Yeah, they have seven, around seven lessons for 45 minutes. This including some activity or not? What activity? Like not study, some activity, sports class. Yeah, including. Usually ours is that, okay, three, then after you do gymnastic or something. But you also get some marks for this lesson, right? 
Yeah. So it's also important. What do you mean? And physics no, it's in the not. Air? It's not. Everyone know it's not important because. It's important. <laughs> this is what happened when it's going to the test. For example, math teacher, science teacher, English teacher, Chinese teacher. They cannot finish something and say, "Okay, we will use your gymnastic class." But what if you your dream or your goal to become a football player, for example? Then and mathematics teachers say, no, it's not important. And you're like, how? How is not important? I spent all my childhood with the ball outside and my dream is to be a football player. They don't exist in our culture. <laughs> <laughs> you can only be a doctor and lawyer, okay? No football player in your childhood, no. No, I was kidding, but... Mm. but Unless you are in the team of school, then you say, "Okay, we have team practice." Otherwise, doesn't matter you like or not. They just make this for you, and you just follow. Okay, then we jump to the next topic. We don't have too much freedom when we're in school. They tell us what to do, and we follow. If you not follow, they will beat you. Beat you. Yes. They will beat you. In my time, <laughs> in my time, uh, they beat well, you, and after you go home, your parents beat you. Oh, it's like a prison. Then. No, it's like an army. It's worse. You go there and you <clears throat> training like how to act like a robot and go home. So you don't have your childhood. Childhood, yeah, after school, if. You after are lucky. School, you mean after 4 p.m.? Yeah. But you need to do a ho homework. There is no time to play around. And Usually we play before we do the homework. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody beats uh, students at school, in Ukrainian school. If sometimes it happens, and when it happens, all countries know about it because it might be some... Uh, police involved and they will show on Ukrainian TV channel about this. Even 20 years this. ago the same, right? Uh, yeah, I don't remember my sister sister tell me at least one story. That or the other her. village, just not in your school. Maybe the other teacher beat it. I know one story happened a couple years ago. My uh, school director, his grand-grandson visit the other school in the other village and some teachers beat him. So they show this story on TV channel. And everyone discuss it, and um, so in your common sense, was in your common common sense, teacher cannot beat kids. Cannot beat kids. In our common sense, teacher can beat kids, and I believe in Asian country, a lot of people still do this. Mm. I don't know what to say. It's just. I even cannot imagine that some teacher beat me. I'm, I, I feel okay, like my teacher beat me. Some ask me to do some physical do you, training. Do you have a bruises after? Sometimes, yes. But you, uh, we so get used to it, everyone. Criminal, your teacher are criminals. <laughs> they will tell you, okay, you need to have like 60 grades for next test. If you don't have, Every five points, you get one beat. It's too stressful for I don't know. Yes, it's very stressful. For elementary students. It's very stressful to study in, in Taiwan or everywhere in Asia, I think. Good Everyone students. paid. I paid in university. Which is we not don't have. Not because I didn't visit class or I was stupid or I didn't pass exam. No, you just have to pay she asked her to come and say 60 US dollars each